Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. Uh, this will be for, from mid to the end of December. Um, I wanted to do an extra reading for you, even though I said I wasn't going to. I'm going to. Um, so if you've seen my page before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, and I'll be doing some tarot, doing some oracle as well. Um, don't forget though, time is fluid, energy is vice versa. And let's start. Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. So, hmm. Okay, these ones all flew out. Okay, tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. Yeah, we want one more for Sagittarius. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. This is not a good reading. What was last? What was for December last time? Uh, now is the time to break cycles. New love is coming. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So, you've got a few that have felt fallen out. So, first of all, you've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So, that's like you recovering. I mean, it can be financial loss, but I always look at it like it's recovering from a loss in general. For me, it doesn't matter whether it's financial or not. Um, you're going to need courage. You might focus on your employment, but it can also be some sort of revival and yeah as I said you're recovering from a loss maybe one where you feel like you were a victim you felt like you were left out in the cold something like that then we have the death card the death card is all about endings the death card is about a big change it's about working on you it's transforming it's transitioning it's knowing that it's time to move on so this was the other card and then here you are with the death card Time to move on. It's having a rebirth. Then you've got the devil card in reverse. So you need to release whatever limiting beliefs you have. You need to detach from somebody that is like a devil. Now, devil kind of energy is somebody who is has addictions, obsessions. You know, maybe they're a gambler, they're a sex addict, they're a druggie, they're an alcoholic, whatever this is. They have it. Um, they might be greedious. Greedious. They might be greedy. They might be envious. They might. I'm having trouble speaking today. Um, so yeah, it might be somebody like that. But you are kind of you're having an ending from somebody like that, who who made you feel like you were left out in the cold, all that kind of thing. But you're recovering from that. And you've also got the seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands in reverse is about somebody who. Um, has made you feel like you are exhausted it makes you feel like you're indecisive do I want to go back do I not want to like what is it I want to do you're feeling overwhelmed you feel like giving up but yeah this is all because of this kind of energy tell me more about Sagittarius chariot you can take action You've got to be determined. You've got to take back control. It's about willpower. It's about making a change to be successful. You've got six of pentacles underneath. So do some self-care. Um, it might have been a very one-sided kind of situation. It can also involve three people, I find. For the magician, that's all about you manifesting what you want, you know, Having taking back your own power, you are you know a powerful person. You're resourceful. You know you can turn your visions into reality. And you know what? You've got an ace of swords. Maybe you've got some mental clarity. You've seen the truth in a situation. You've got some justice. You've had a breakthrough. Whatever this is, but you are going to have a fresh start. Maybe a sudden opportunity. This has come up, I think, in every reading. Pretty sure every reading. Um, you might have been with somebody though who appeared to be a fraud, a liar, lazy, jealous, all of those things, and that made you feel very down. But you are going to have some new opportunity, some passionate, fiery opportunity. It can mean you focus on your career for some people, for others. It's that. It's feeling like 
a very fiery, passionate relationship. But you've got to get past this, you know, feeling unloved, the emotional confusion, the self-pity, disappointment, all those things, because you've got another ace, which is a new relationship, the ace of cups. It's emotional fulfillment, love, intimacy, joy, deep feelings, you know, all those things. But you've got to keep on persisting, keep on persisting and moving on past this situation that made you feel very disappointed. You know, put up your boundaries, all those things. Keep on keeping on because you've got a lot of amazing things right there. I just want to say that, um, which is amazing. I mean... You know, have your boundaries. It's going to take strength. It's going to take courage. It's going to take persistence. But you are going to move on from this person. And you're going to have like three out of the four aces just came up right now. So good things are coming for you. Some new opportunities are coming. Tell me more for Sagittarius. You need to speak your truth. You have gone through that emotional loss, as I said. Speak your truth. There's the same card we just had a minute ago um, where you are feeling, you know, unloved and emo had emotional confusion, self-pity, dwelling on the negative, disappointed, all those things. Maybe you need to, maybe you never spoke your truth about a situation. I don't know, but maybe you need to. You've also got positive movement forward. I mean, this in reverse, it's like, Stop maybe even being focused. First of all, it's like not making a positive movement forward. You kind of feel like maybe you're stuck. But it's also about being too self or too focused on one area of your life. So stop focusing on your love life. Work on you. Go and focus on your career. Focus on your kids. I don't know. Whatever this is. Stop being so focused because the more you want something, you want to attract, you're going to push it. You are going to break the cycle though. Things are, you're having a turning point here. This is like karma, good luck. Like the wheel turns, you go from crap to good to crap to good. Like, you know, and it's all about breaking cycles and you have, or you are, or you will break your cycle from somebody who could have been very controlling, could also have, you know, kids to this person. Um, maybe you need to make a plan. But you are feeling isolated and lonely and maybe you're just going to withdraw for a while. You know, nurture you. And as I said, maybe you do have kids to this person. Maybe maybe you have kids in general, I don't know. Then we have the Four of Swords. So this is you being like a hermit. You are resting. You are recovering. You are you know, contemplating, recuperating, you know, dealing with whatever inner fears you have. It's like recovery. You're just in that recovery retreat mode where you're by yourself, you're just kind of being. Tell me more for Sagittarius. King of Wands. Somebody who's fiery and passionate and, you know, they have vision. Maybe they have their own business. It's all about honour, being confident. They're a leader. Maybe that's you. Maybe you need to be a leader in your own life. Maybe that describes you or somebody else. Um... You might be hesitant to open your heart, though. Maybe you need to be a bit selfish, or maybe this other person was selfish. Maybe it was all about their ego. Who knows? Um, it could have involved three people. You need to release whatever fears you have, repressed emotions, inner confusion, and you've got the Knight of Pentacles as well. So, you know, this is somebody who is reliable. They're slow moving, but they're patient. They're an animal lover. They're trustworthy, sensible, hardworking, cautious, all those things. You know, make sure that you are a very self-sufficient person who has boundaries and you, either you or this other person, take it as it resonates, but it's somebody who cuts through their bullshit. they very direct with their communication. At the moment, you may feel a lack of faith. You feel like there's no, you're disconnected. There's no, you've got self-trust issues, whatever. You're feeling down obviously, because of what you've been through. Um, and maybe you're trying to avoid conflict with somebody, but if you don't, you're going to blow like a volcano. You've got to release whatever emotions and, and all that sort of thing you have. Um, just look at the other thing as a distraction or uh, maybe you just have lack of direction. Maybe it was a missed opportunity. Um, but you do have the sun card which is and the wheel card. Like that's about completion, 
completing a goal or lesson and the sun card is like the best card in the deck that's all about vitality material happiness a joyous outcome success all of those things like you know if there's a card you want that's one of them for sure like that's like you know getting whatever it is you want you know like to me that's yeah to me that's really good let me just quickly give these a quick shuffle um so whether that king of wands is you or whether that is someone else and the same with the the queen of swords as i said the self-sufficient person whether that's you or someone else take that as resonates right sagittarius you're gonna have to heal your heart because you've been through some sort of emotional uh problem you know you're moving on though you're feeling abandoned you're looking for something better you're disappointed but you are withdrawing possibly as well retreating and you've got to heal your heart um you want a firm foundation you want somebody who's going to give you long-term security you know maybe save some money um maybe you are resisting a change though for some people and it could have been with somebody who was dishonest and didn't take accountability for their actions this is about karma as well justice you know on the bottom you've got the chariot again this is about taking i'll just repeat it it's about being determined it's about taking action to succeed you know it's going to take willpower it's going to take you back being in control of your own life but you can take control you know, trust the guidance from the universe as well. That was underneath that. Lastly, you've got Ten of Swords. Now, something is going to just completely end. It's going to be a complete and painful ending. You're going to hit rock bottom. You're going to feel betrayed. You're going to have a loss. You're going to have deep wounds. But there's something that's come to an end. Tell me more. Could have been with somebody who was a player and you've got the nine of pentacles in reverse as i said you were probably being hustled by this person and now you need to do some self-worth work um you've got five of pentacles like you are feeling like a victim you feel rejected you feel like you had a loss you're feeling lonely you know you went through hardship like all those things it's a horrible situation it's going to take strength it's going to take you having self-love unconditional love self-respect compassion you know the truth will come out somebody will get their karma somebody it's all about justice and everything we do has an effect so just be aware and you are going to get your wishes fulfilled your wishes are going to come true whatever that is for you whether it's good health you know a great relationship whatever this is for you um on the bottom of the deck over here you might be have been married to this person or in a higher level of commitment um, you might have hoped that it was going to end that way with your dog, your cat, your couple of kids and your picket fence. Who knows? King of Swords. This is all about having mental clarity and seeing the truth, speaking the truth, fair judgment, you know, high standards. Somebody who's very, it can be about somebody very communicative as well. Um, but as I said, take back your own power. You, this person could have been a father as well. Um, maybe a strategic planner, but maybe you need to do all those things. Have a plan, take back your like control of your own life. And you got the moon again, trusting your intuition. There might be things going on behind the scene. It's about seeing past the illusion. It's, um, I think you have this card. It's all about fear and anxiety and making a voluntary change, but you might have two options, but one of them you know, maybe you've been through betrayal, rejection, being cheated on, emotional pain, whatever this was for you, heartbreak, divorce, and it could have involved three people. But they may try to communicate with you. And you've got the chariot again. Be determined, take action, willpower. You will be successful. Be self-sufficient, be independent, get whatever it is you want. And as I said, it's going to take strength and now is the right time to do this. It's all about balance and patience and moderation, harmony, you know. Moving on from somebody who was just hostile, played mind games. You're in competition with somebody, you know. They maybe stole from you, whatever. They were probably emotionally manipulative, moody, crafty, violent. But... You are going through this, you know, emotional confusion, dwelling on the negative, being disappointed, self-pity, loss, regret, whatever. 
but you are going to get your wishes coming true as i've said it's all the same wishes coming true wishes coming true same card right tell me more for sagittarius oops yeah you've got choices there's that choice card again two choices weighing up your options maybe balancing two people could have been three party third party as i said third party this could also be um you playing the victim it can be you feeling rejected going through hardship feeling lonely all those things and but you are avoiding you know making a change you're averting the disaster work on you because you are going to get your wishes fulfilled if you don't you're going to be with somebody who was dishonest they betrayed you they were deceptive they acted strategic they maybe stole from you you know it's all those kind of things you might just be looking back about the the good times looking back in the past hoping you were going to get old with this person but you know what it didn't work out you know and maybe now that's left you feeling indecisive overwhelmed exhausted and want to give up but just remember there are secrets you might withdraw from the world for a while you might feel disconnected this person was just you broke up you, had, you probably had a breakup there was probably no trust some sort of misunderstanding for some people but the 19 is the sun as i said things are going to work out well for you you're going to get your wishes fulfilled you got the best card in the deck twice material happiness joyous outcomes success warmth positivity you know success all those things like it's amazing let's do some oracle as I said, there's nothing bad here except for this other past person, but okay, it's gonna be more for Sag. Stay optimistic about your love life. And you know, I guess with this past person, don't give them a shot. Don't give them another shot. You've got something better coming. Let go of control issues though. Just go with the flow. You know, let the universe kind of, you know, and you want to get out of this situation, but you're not freeing yourself. Um, let the universe just take control, you know. Put it out there. Release it. Let it go. It's all about manifesting what you want. But I think December is all about um, new opportunities coming and releasing the past. So you need to ground yourself. You need to do something to reward yourself. Um, you've got child. Do something that makes your inner child happy. Maybe do something you enjoy. You've also got underneath here, be honest with yourself, but you've also got relationship. So, you know, maybe because there is no relationship offered with this other past person. But... There is one coming. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Self-love. Work on you, as I said. You know, keep persevering. At the moment, you're not. And it could involve kids, as I said, because kids are underneath. You. I always laugh at this card <laughs> it's supposed to be meeting angels and it says meeting angles don't notice <laughs> I've always noticed that oh anyway meeting angels I mean I guess that's if you need help ask you know you've got people around you that are there guiding you you've got people there if you need help with things ask you know you might also meet people in your life that these people have sent you. I feel like saying that. Um, ask for help, as I said. 
And you've also got rewards, but it's like in reverse at the moment. It's like, you know, I don't feel like this is going to happen with this person. I feel like why you continue, you've got to, you've got to break the cycle. Because once you break the cycle, that's when things are going to start coming good. You know? You're not going to reap rewards with your pre previous ex-person, though. Your past is your past for a reason. Search. Yeah, focus on self-worth, self-love, focus on all that sort of stuff. And whatever you put out, you're going to get back. Relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. It's like a mirror. You're with somebody that was like a snake. But you've seen the truth in the situation. Self-love, get some self-love. Um, you feel like you're not enough and somebody is going to tell you they like you. This person, though, is not your soulmate. And as I said, you could have been in a high level of commitment with this person. I don't know or hoped for that. But, you know, heal your heart. Take the time. Heal your heart. You know. And I've got another deck. Yes, they're black. They're also another Valentine Wellness deck. But these are for singles. So, I mean, it might just tell us a bit more information anyway. Tell me more for Sag. I think it's a big, these two key card, these two cards. I think they've come out a lot. So somebody may have been a narcissist. They may have been a cheater, infidelity. Um, maybe you need to put up boundaries. They're egocentric, entitled, selfish, and they're a rule breaker. Maybe you need to put up boundaries and look into that. Um, so deal breakers, this is where you write down what exactly you want, what exactly are your deal breakers and do not accept anybody that, you know, isn't, isn't what you want, you know, physical intimacy in reverse. It keeps doing that. It's like making sure you're choosing healthy, balanced relationships and you're doing things for the right reasons, whether it's sex, whether it's whatever, um, it says 2222. I just noticed that. Uh, maybe Google angel number 2222. So you've got somebody is actually going to come in and they are the real deal. They are going to see that you're a keeper. They are going to see that you're genuine. Well, they are genuine, compatible, you know, a good choice. They're going to see your light. Be aware of that. Realize your light. That's what it says on the bottom. You have to be healed to attract healed. So keep working on you. You are a divine being having a human experience. And that was in reverse, maybe because you don't feel that way. Um, you've got total connection, like meeting people that are healthy and like-minded. You know, don't run when it gets real, though. You need to stop self-sabotaging if you are. And you are going to meet someone and date. Look, I don't know if I can turn my wrist. It says dating. Anyway, that is the reading for Sagittarius. Um, thanks for watching. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Especially subscribe. I notice people are watching my videos. Maybe they don't have YouTube accounts. Please make one. Please subscribe. Um, that would really appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. And if it does resonate, don't forget to share and, and like it as well. And um, I will catch you with the next reading. Okay, bye.